Okay, g'day guys. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use um, SketchUp with Layout. Uh, and a really quick way here, we're going to use it with a plugin called Pluspec. Now, Pluspec comes with a template which is already set up for 2D. Um, it can be used for plenty of different types of things. So while I'm talking away here, I'm just going to draw a few walls here. So I'm going to go around and uh, now this is a Pluspec software. It allows you to draw walls, roofs, um, windows, and the whole lot. So you can see we've just got an outline there. Let's have a look at it, how that actually looks in plan view. Now we can go through and we can put windows in in plan view. Uh, we can put windows in in any view actually, but I'm going to show you how to do it in plan view. So I'm going to choose a sliding window and I put it through there. And I'm going to stick another one here. And I might want a door over here, so I'll stick a door in, I don't know, just say an external door. Um, okay, um, then I might want to go around, we can change the doors left, right, front, back with uh, the interact tool. Um, let's stick, say, a different type of door in, so we might want to put in, say, a... Uh, that's what have we got here, we've got, say, a stacker door. A stack of door in here, and we'll go and we'll select this wall over here. And we might put, say, I don't know, we'll put a garage door in here. Now, all of these is, is actually happening in 3D as well as 2D. Um, it's done inside of SketchUp. So, let's have a look at, say, a panel lift door, which has usually got a motor and so on. We can change the size of these later if we choose it, put in the motor so we don't have any problems with that. Um, let's go and put, say, say a sliding door or something over here. Uh, let's have a look. Sliding door. Put it in over here. We can type in the measurements so I can say two meters. Now we've got a sliding door. I can put another one in the same wall. Make this one say 1500. Okay. And over on this elevation here I might put a few more windows in. We can put internal walls in and so on but I'm just showing you how quickly we can actually um, draw a 2D plan using SketchUp. Uh, and how quickly we can put in all of the information very quickly. Now this is a basic house so that you guys don't fall asleep while you're watching me bang on. Um, uh, so we've got a little window over here. Okay, let's have a look at where we're up to now. So I'll go to um, the views. Okay, so we've gone and we've put all of these things in. Now you can see that I've got too many leaves in that door there. I can do one or two things. I can actually, I can actually just change it. So I can say, okay, I've got too many leaves in the door. I can change it back to say, well, I can change it up to eight, but I don't want to go higher. I want to go lower. So that door is not going to work there. So I'll get out of that and I'll just delete that and I'll put something else in. We can do it from the inside or the outside, but say I said, okay, let's I'm going to select a wall before you do it. I'm doing all this with one hand, um, two guys. There's no keyboard shortcuts or anything happening on here. It's basically just using a toolbar. So I'll go back and I'll add another door. Um, let's just use the double sliding door. Okay. I can type in the measurement if I want to. Now I've got a double sliding door. You know, we can open them up. They're all pretty cool. We can delete them from the inside as well if we want to. Uh, there's that garage door that I showed you there. Okay, it opens and closes. Not sure that that's really necessary for 2D, but um, let's. Uh, it's good for showing clients through. We can put up internal walls in, but I think for the point of the exercise here, I just push space bar. I'm going to put a roof on. You know, we can use several different types of roofs and different pitches and eaves overhang and and so on. Hip caps, ceilings, the whole lot. But let's just go here now. Usually I guess anyone who sort of drafts for a living understands that a roof works off the load bearing wall. Um, so all I'm doing is tracing the internal wall. This is a brick veneer construction. Uh, I could have chosen double brick. I could have used uh, so many different wall methods. Um, I just chose the, the default setting to start with here just to show you how the 2D works with SketchUp. Okay, now I have a roof. Okay, let's have a look at our scenes which are already set up here. So we've got plan on grid, um, which is, and then we've got wireframe, so we can do this. 
uh, we've got lots of different things here that have all been drawn in real time. Uh, we can look at the frame, uh, elevations, uh, you'll notice the, the windows have been turned off transparent automatically so that we can actually make this happen. Okay, so now we have a, a 3D model. I think we can quite easily uh, export this 3D model to layout. So basically now I'll be able to put this into a 2D model. So I'm going to go to export to layout, sorry, send to layout. Oops, I've got to save the model first. So I'm just going to go control S. Okay, uh, file, send to layout. Okay, I'm using SketchUp Pro 8 here, but I've also do the same thing in, in 13. Um, okay, what we're we'll doing now is it's opened up inside of layout and it's asking me what sort of template do I want to put in here. You can choose whatever you like, um, you know, whether it be blank or you want to let a head on it, it doesn't matter. Uh, sorry, uh, let's choose this one over here. Okay, open. Okay, so instantly I got my 2D drawing, but everyone would probably be wondering what about scale. So, what we do, we click on the model and we go down to scale and we go in a 1 to 100 so it's a metric we can move this around now I do have a few uh, things in there so, oops. Let's move this down to here now we can move the drawing up to over here okay now we can either copy it or push control um, uh, and move move the um, file over. So I'll see if I can do this at the moment. I've got a broken arm, so I'm uh, trying to do this at the same time. With one hand, it's not so easy. But see if I can hold control at the same time as with one hand and use my mouse. as I can actually hold control with one arm um, but basically what I need to do is go control you can see a little plus come up on the screen there now because I can't hold it because I've only got one arm I am going to struggle to move that over there so let's have a look and see if I can just go copy and then go paste okay now I can move another one over here and I can go and go copy paste as well. So right click, paste, paste. Okay, and I can move this one down here. Now this will all make sense in a second. Um, just make sure I didn't copy that twice. No. Okay, and let's do one more paste. So right click. <coughs> Now it's pasted it basically back over the original, so I can move it down here. Now what we can do, we can go and change our scene. So we want to uh, go, okay, let's change the scene. So let's go to an elevation, elevation one. Okay, now we have our elevations. Uh, let's go to elevation two. Oops, I'm going to my scenes, elevation two. I can move this around, All right, please. Now it's on auto render at the moment. For a small model like this, it's fine. Uh, if you get into really big models on A2, sometimes I'll turn the auto render off, which is over here. But for this type of model, it's fine. Okay, and scenes and elevation four. Okay, now I have all of my scenes <coughs> set up ready to go. Now a lot of people wonder what the line work is going to be like. It's pretty good. Now this is uh, not running on full resolution but I can go around and start dimensioning my model up okay and at the moment it's in meters but I can change that from meters to millimeters if I choose by clicking the spacebar clicking on the the line and 
on the dimension, sorry, and going through and choosing what precision I want um, and whether I want to use it in meters or millimeters. Um, we can dimension the whole model up. We can change the leader lines where they sit, but I'll go around and just do a couple of dimensions. Um, okay, with Eve. Okay, and we might do an overall dimension, say, of the wall. Here to here. very simple what I'm doing here okay if you want to change where these leader lines because it doesn't look good with these going through here it's simple as clicking on the leader line and then double clicking on it now you'll notice a little ball come up at the end here we can move this back to here now this is a quick example too guys if I'm doing a construction drawing if you want the leader lines to line up basically you just go up to the original and away we go so we can do the same with all of these we can change the dimensions the text um, individual lines, whatever we need to do, we can um, change the way that, that any of this looks pretty much, um, take the millimetres off the end of it if we want to, um, so quick example. Now I can PDF this plan straight from here very quickly, um, and now I have a 3D model. Um, drawn out, we can dimension plans, elevations, the whole lot, so it makes it very easy. We can go and fill in all of our dates and project numbers, whatever it is that you want to do, you can label. <coughs> um, text, we can change the size of the labels. We can use layers to turn things on and off and we can put in symbols. There's so many things you can do with this but it's just a quick demonstration of how it works. One thing that is really good about it, um, about layout in particular, is that we can actually go through and we can change the view of the model. So for instance this one here we might say okay well, we want to turn it around and do this and we might want to change the style as well. Um, so we might want to say okay well we want it to look like this or we might want to change the style of the model so we might say okay let's choose a different style uh, so look through here so there's plenty of different styles and you can go through every style that you've got in the model and we can look at say the model very quickly and easily um, so look it's a it's a very very fast way I'm not sure I think we're into about 12 minutes now and I've drawn a quick house with windows that are all opening and interacting. Um, we can move walls. Um, if I went back to SketchUp and said, okay, uh, let's see if I can find the model that I was using, which is over here, and said, okay, well, I don't really like where that wall sits, so I'm going to just go over here to wall. And let's say, okay, we don't want the roof on there and we don't like the position of this wall. We can go, let's move this wall. Let's move it out to here, say. I can type in how far I want it to go, so I'll write in 1500 millimetres. Okay, now I move the wall 1500 millimetres, I can put the roof back on. Um, I'm going to do this really quickly, probably from the outside wall, if anyone's paying attention. It's not exactly right, but it's quick. Uh, and then when I save the model and update it in, in layout, it will now have the wall moved. Okay, um, yeah, whether we're going to use a gable roof or a hip roof, that's sort of something we can go into the how to use later. But uh, let's go back to elevation one. That's not going to show it. So elevation two, we're going to need to update elevation two. I'm going to go um, file save. Save, sorry, you can't see that. Click the screen. Okay, so I've saved that now. And now if I go back to layout and I said update reference. Okay. Uh, Okay, now it has gone through and it's extended that wall out. Um, we might uh, change it back to plan. Uh, so the plan view is going to be scenes. Go to plan. Okay, now we have all of our dimensions still connected up, but we've also moved this wall out 
um, now we can update all of these individually so if I click over here and say update reference which would be here okay it's obviously not the view that we changed and we go update reference it's already updated and this is, you'll notice this one here is updated as well so everything here has been done automatically which makes it very easy for you to make a change on a plan I uh, hope it helps out guys um, using Pluspec with SketchUp and Layout I can't see a better CAD package around so um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation uh, at the moment Pluspec is still in beta but um, if you want to pre-register for a version of Pluspec um, you're welcome to go to www.pluspec.com and um, we hope to have this version to you very soon. Cheers.